G'day guys, this is a technique I stumbled across a few weeks ago and it turned out so well, I just had to share it with you. So for starters, you will need a stake and a stake around an inch thick will work best for this, nothing too thick. I'm using a porterhouse or a New York strip depending on where you live in the world. And I'm just going to season this with a good amount of pepper and a bit of salt. Now I'm not using any oil here because the oil will burn on the fire and give it a bitter taste. And now I'm just going to put this inside for about a half hour to come up to room temperature. And while this is happening, I'm going to prepare the fire. Now the most important part of this dish is using the right barbecue fuel. Here I've got some of your pre-made briquettes. Now these will not work for this. They develop an ash over the surface of them when they're heated and this will get onto your food. So you need to use your proper charcoal or your lump charcoal as it's called. Now this is black when it's cold, but when it's hot it burns really, really cleanly. And this is what you have to use. So now just fire up your coals, and once they're fully lit, arrange them in your barbecue so there's a flat surface on them. And this is where we're going to cook that steak. Now it's important to get this fire to the point where the coals are basically embers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choke it for about 10 minutes or so with just a little bit of vent open. And the coals will die off like this. And this is the perfect temperature to cook your steak on so it doesn't burn. So now, just put that steak straight on top of that flat bed you've created and cook for a couple of minutes each side. If you get any flare ups, just drop the lid for a moment. So all I'm doing here is giving it a bit of a shake when I turn it. And with your tongs, you might just want to give it a quick little bit of a brush just to get rid of any excess embers off it. But as you can see, it's very, very clean. And the only thing on it really is the pepper. So once that steak is cooked to your liking, just remove it from the charcoal, give it one final brush off and put it to one side to rest for five minutes. And this is what you get guys. Now I like my steak medium and this is absolutely perfect. Just see how moist and juicy it is. Enjoy. Now believe me when I tell you guys this is a top notch way to cook a steak. You don't get the nice grill marks like you do on your regular barbecue grill. But the flavour more than makes up for it. It is absolutely delicious. It works great with chicken as well. So give it a go. Be sure to check out my indoor cooking channel Google Plus and Facebook. I've put the links in the description bar along with a full list of ingredients for today's recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.